I think we can leave all this except for the uh, unit, no, not unit flags. Where's the uh, unit icon? So let's change the unit icon to be, uh, uh, what did we make the sword? Upgrade, one of the upgrades or something like that. Uh, let's see. I think it was, yeah, that one. So that'll be the sword icon. And why don't we copy paste this? Hopefully that'll work. And change the unit name to uh, leather armor. Leather armor, press OK. And let's rename this to leather armor. Click suggest, press OK. And um, yeah, got to change this again. Wait for the long browse. I'd probably be faster going to buttons and copy pasting this than waiting for that. Uh, what did I make it again? Yeah, that's what I made it. And let's just add object again. Probably the safest thing to do here is circling venom. Click suggest. Change it to unit. Generic unit base. Press OK. Editor is going kind of slow. I'm not sure why. Um, and let's change the unit name token thing to now Zerling so Venom. Um, and let's change. The, actually, instead of doing this the slow way, let's go find. Uh, let's go find Sword. There it is. And I'm just gonna copy. I'm just gonna copy paste the model from there. That'll save us some time. There we go. So we got crate there, and the uh, the unit icon. Let's change that. Okay, we're almost done, guys. Uh, actually, I don't even know what uh, what icon I did show. Let's go back to buttons. As uh, venom, this one. So copy paste. I just copied the field, and then if I go back to actors, go to Zergling Venom. Scroll down and paste it over the unit icon. It'll switch it, which is a nice thing, so you don't have to spend time going through that all. So um, we should be able to actually place them now. So if you press U, oh, we're already on units. Go to neutral, um, switch the type to item instead of unit, and there we can see our item for Zerg, which I forgot to change. So now we see our little crate. So we got leather armor. Let's place one so sword unknown for some reason and Zergling Venom unknown. And Crate actually has multiple models, which is why you which is why you see them different. It's not Zergling Venom is not actually a different model than this. They're just the crate has multiple variations. So that's why they look different. So we placed all that. Um, let's save. The hero can pick up the items. Now let's make somewhere to sell the items. So I'm just gonna take the uh, actually let's make the ability first. So to sell items you need the pawn ability and you need to give it to a unit. And your items, of course, need to be have the. I mean, they need to have the pawnable flag checked, which we already did, I think. So let's name this pawn shop. Suggest and find pawn ability type. Press OK. And let's see flags. Don't think we need to care about that. Actually, you might want to do smart, I think, because it means if you pawn from a large range, your guy will walk up to it. I can't confirm that, but I think I had that checked on my RPG that I'm working on. Uh, shameless plug. Uh, let's see, info. Uh, sorry, my uh, editor crashed. I guess that's why it was going so slow. <laughs> um, anyways, I believe I had already made this pawn shop, yes. So we have a pawn ability. Um, and we want to double click on info plus here. And I'm not sure what all these things are for, but I know that just for the first one, um, we could set a button for it. You could have made a pawn button and said these items sell for blah, blah, blah. But it, from what I've seen, we never actually get to see this button. So I'm just going to set it to our empty slot. And then let's set the refund fraction to make it one. Um, so we'll get 100% back on our items that we sell. You could make it 0.5 if you wanted only 50% of the value of your items to be returned, but I'm making it 100% for now. And uh, yeah, 
that should be okay category no that's good let's press ok so we got our pawn ability here range um, let's make it 100 so it can be uh, so you can see if this range is really small then it'll just say you're too far away when you try to pawn an item but if we make it really large like 100 or let's say 500 um, your guy can pawn from really far away except he'll just walk up to the building and pawn it which is uh, a good thing because it was really annoying when I had this on a small value because I thought the value was actually the range at which you could pawn, but it's actually the range at which you can uh, uh, initiate pawn, if that makes sense. Uh, so let's go back to our units. Switch to all data. I switched it already. Uh, and let's search for cybernetics core. Good. And let's, let's give it the pawn ability. I think the reason that the... Uh, the button doesn't matter is because we're giving it to an we're going to give it to an uh, neutral building so no player will ever see it um, so back in the units in the terrain editor let's go stay on player zero actually and go to structure and look for the cybernetics core no oh, laggy cybernetics core and let's place one right there so hopefully that'll be able to uh, take these items when we sell it to it and um, Let's go back to the data editor. So we got pawning. Oh yeah, and let's do some loot. Save it. Uh, so loot's kind of interesting. Um, the way I have it working in my my own RPG map is um, to make a loot item. So, uh, or I believe it's actually... Let me try uh, item first. So let's call this uh, sword loot. Click suggest. Press OK. Mm, no, this is what we don't want. Sorry about that. Let's add object and let's call this sword loot again. Sorry. And make a unit. And press OK. And make the unit to be sword. Spawn range 2 is fine. Uh, spawn owner neutral player. Spawn location caster. That's all good. Let's copy paste. And let's make this leather armor loot. Click suggest. Leave that at unit. And let's change this to leather armor. Press OK. Copy paste again. And let's change this to circling venom. Click suggest. And that's good. And let's change the unit to be Z to circling venom. And press OK. And now we actually add a loot set and add an object and change the loot type to set and change the name to zergling loot. Click suggest, press OK. So now our zergling loot, it's gonna have maximum, it can drop, let's say it can drop two items and minimum, minimum actually has to be one. If you set it to zero, it doesn't work. And then the children, so it's gonna make uh, leather armor loot, I'm just pressing these. Zergling, oops, we don't want that, zergling venom and then sword loot. So the chance of this one, let's say the chance of leather armor is 10%, the chance of zergling venom is 50%, and the chance of sword loot is 10%. And just to make up the rest, let's leave it on none. What's 60, 70, so let's put this at 30. So now we have 100 total. So 10, 20, 50, yeah. Let's press OK, and then go to units, the units tab, and find the Zergling. Okay, find the Zergling. And go down to UI, I mean, not UI, unit dash loot. And press the green X and choose Zergling loot. Press OK. And press save. So now they should drop the items as well on top of the ones that we can pick up. Uh, we should be able to pick them up and we should be able to sell them. So why don't we go in game and figure out how many things I screwed up?